What if I told you there is a lonely planet in space that glows like a neon sign? A planet that is not a planet, but something in between a star and a planet. It has no star to orbit, but may have a moon that is causing its glow. Well, this is actually one of the most amazing discoveries made by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. This mysterious object is called W1935, and it is a brown dwarf. A brown dwarf is an object more massive than Jupiter, but smaller than a star. It does not have enough mass to start nuclear fusion in its core, so it does not shine like a star. It only glows faintly from the leftover heat of its formation. But W1935 is not a typical brown dwarf. It showed a surprising infrared emission from methane that resembles an aurora, a phenomenon usually seen on Earth and other planets with magnetic fields and atmospheres. An aurora is caused by charged particles from the sun interacting with the planet's magnetic field and atmosphere, creating colorful lights in the sky. In this video, I will talk about this mysterious object and why it is so important for the field of astronomy. You will learn what are the possible explanations for this emission and what it means for our understanding of the universe. So, are you ready to explore the mystery of the glowing brown dwarf? Let's get started. The first thing you need to know is the difference between a brown dwarf, a star, and a planet. Brown dwarf is an object more massive than Jupiter, but smaller than a star. To understand how a brown dwarf is different from a star, you need to know how stars are born. Stars are born when huge clouds of gas and dust collapse under their own gravity and become so dense and hot that they start nuclear fusion in their cores, which is a process where lighter elements like hydrogen, fuse together to form heavier elements, like helium, and release a lot of energy. This energy makes the stars shine and radiate heat and light. But not all gas and dust clouds can become stars. Some of them are too small or too cold to start nuclear fusion. These are the brown dwarfs. This object does not have enough mass to sustain nuclear fusion in its core, so it does not shine like a star. Instead, it only glows faintly from the leftover heat of its formation. It also can have clouds, storms, and magnetic fields like a planet, but it is not orbiting a star. It is a free-floating object in space, with no star to keep it company. Brown dwarfs are very hard to detect because they are very faint and cold. They emit most of their radiation in the infrared spectrum, which is invisible to the human eye. To see them, we need special instruments that can detect infrared light like the James Webb Space Telescope that is designed to study the most distant and dim objects in the universe. One of the brown dwarfs that the James Webb Space Telescope observed is called W1935. It is located about 50 light years away from Earth in the constellation of Lyra. This object is not a typical brown dwarf. It showed a surprising infrared emission from methane that resembles an aurora, a phenomenon usually seen on Earth and other planets with magnetic fields and atmospheres. An aurora is caused by charged particles from the Sun interacting with the planet's magnetic field and atmosphere, creating colorful lights in the sky. You may have seen or heard of the Northern Lights or the Southern Lights, which are examples of auroras on Earth. Auroras have also been observed on other planets, like Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. But these planets have something in common they have a star to provide the charged particles that cause the auroras. The newly discovered brown dwarf W1935, on the other hand, is an isolated object in space with no nearby star to create an aurora. So, what is the source of its methane emission? This is a mystery that puzzles the astronomers who discovered it. This object's methane emission is the first of its kind ever detected and it opens up new possibilities for studying brown dwarfs and their environments. The team of astronomers who discovered W1935's methane emission have two main hypotheses for its origin. The first hypothesis is that the brown dwarf may be interacting with interstellar plasma, a gas of charged particles that fills the space between stars. This interstellar plasma may be flowing past the brown dwarf and creating electric currents that heat up its atmosphere and produce the methane emission. 
This would be similar to how the solar wind interacts with the Earth's magnetic field and causes auroras, but on a much larger scale. The second hypothesis is that the brown dwarf may have a nearby active moon that is generating a magnetic field and an atmosphere, similar to Jupiter and its moon Io, which is a volcanic moon that spews out sulfur and other gases that create a thin atmosphere around it. Io also has a magnetic field that interacts with Jupiter's magnetic field and causes electric currents that heat up its atmosphere and produce auroras. The brown dwarf and its moon may have a similar relationship, and the moon's atmosphere may contain methane that emits infrared light when heated. Both hypotheses are very exciting and challenging, as they would require new physics and models to explain how they work. They would also imply that brown dwarfs are more complex and diverse than previously thought, and that they may host exotic worlds that could harbor life. W1935's methane emission is a groundbreaking discovery that will inspire more research and exploration of brown dwarfs and their environments. It also shows how the James Webb Space Telescope is revolutionizing our understanding of the universe and opening new windows to the unknown. In this video, you learned about the mystery of the glowing brown dwarf, W1935, and why it is so important for astronomy. What do you think is causing this planet's methane emission? Do you have any questions or comments about this discovery? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I appreciate your support and feedback. See you next time.